Hi, I'm John Kreider with Thor Motor Coach, and I'm here to introduce the brand new 2016 Outlaw Class A Motorhome. And with me is Matt Ellinger. Matt Ellinger is one of our regional sales managers. He's down in the uh, southeast, and uh, Matt's going to talk to us a little bit about the uh, the Outlaw today. Absolutely, John. I'm excited about it. Well, good. So to get us started, you know, one of the things that uh, we look at, Matt, is this is a uh, this is a vehicle that has so many purposes. It isn't just it's a garage motorhome. It's a uh, you know it's a toy hauling motorhome. It really has so many functions outside of that. So so what are you kind of hearing out there in the field that people use this for? So what we're hearing is is the reason we've seen such a uh, an abundance of sales in this motorhome mm -hmm. over the last couple of years is because it's not just for the Harley owners anymore. It is, but it's also for mobile offices, for dog shows. Uh, you have a full garage that you could put tricked out golf carts. You could put pretty much anything in a huge 10 foot garage back there. Sure. So this kind of um, has gone totally past what was the traditional Absolutely. toy hauler mag or toy hauler motorhome. And now it's kind of the do all carry all anything you want to. Motorhome. It really is very versatile. Perfect. So um, on this motorhome, because it's it's obviously it's a pretty big motorhome. Um, and because of everything that's got in, it's got to be built on a pretty strong foundation, doesn't it? Absolutely. So that foundation, uh, we we engineer it, but we actually have a company called Moride, correct? Correct. And they're the ones that do the foundation for us. Yes. So uh, you know, I think what we should do is we should actually let the experts from Moride explain to us how they put this together for us, and um, we'll come back and we'll talk about the uh, the motorhome once they show us a little bit about what they do. Sounds great, John. At Thor Motor Coach, we build many of the world's most recognized brands of motorhomes. To make sure your new motorhome is the perfect fit for you and your family, our engineers work with More Ride International, the leader in chassis modification, to design and construct the foundation for your motorhome. More Ride provides the steel assembly that makes up the basement storage and support structure of the motorhome. Raw chassis come to us from leading chassis builders like Ford, Chevrolet, Freightliner, and Mercedes-Benz. Computer-aided design models allow Thor Motor Coach engineers to provide more ride all the information needed to make the perfect parts for each chassis. A specialized steel cutting and forming process is used for each individual part. The use of these metal forming machines help create consistency throughout the build. Many chassis need to be modified based on the floor plan of the motorhome. These chassis will be stretched to provide the optimum combination of storage and drivability. Steel C-channels are welded in place to provide strength and rigidity. The lengthening of the chassis requires a modified drive line. New drive shafts connect to the transmission and rear differential. Specialized machines are used to create the correct drive angles and balance the new drive shafts before being installed on the unit. Steel cross members make up the largest section of the structure, spanning horizontally from side to side over the main frame rails. These cross members support the floor of the coach while evenly spreading the weight of the coach for better stability while driving. With the newly formed structure in place, the chassis is brought in for painting to protect the raw steel from the elements. This special paint is formulated to help inhibit rust and corrosion. Special attention is spent to ensure only the steel structure is painted leaving all of the automotive components with the standard coating provided by the chassis manufacturer. Even though you can't see what is beneath the beauty of the motorhome, you can be certain Thor Motor Coach and More Ride International have created a strong foundation meant to stand the test of time. So Matt, I know this coach looks fantastic from the outside, but there's got to be a whole lot to this that's actually beneath the beauty of what I see. So um, tell me a little bit about what we have going on on the outside here. Yeah, no problem. So what we did for 2016 is we went to a full body paint, which we use Sickens full body paint. Okay. So the chassis on this motorhome is a 26,000 pound chassis, which is awesome because it allows us to put 2,500 pounds in the garage. And that's quite an upgrade because I think we used to build on a smaller chassis, which kind of limited us back there. We did. It used to be on a 24,000 pound chassis where it was only 1,500 pounds in the garage. So now instead of uh, having just one motorcycle, uh, one golf cart, whatever it was back there, now you can put two fully dressed Harleys back there. You can put a smart car back there depending on what its weight is. Sure. So that for us was a game changer and going to that bigger chassis, better ride, better feel. And also it gives us the availability to have 22 and a half inch tires because when you talk about the ride of this motorhome and you got that uh, garage filled up back there it's a fantastic riding motorhome 
Well, that makes sense because that's what all the diesel motorhomes I think run too. Or those Correct. big heavy ones are 22 inch tires. Yep. Yep. It looks fantastic. So and look, I was looking here and I noticed that of course the mirrors are upgrade and the chrome really I think accents the paint package. But uh, what's this little uh, camera that we've got going here? So what Thor Motor Coach does is we don't mount our side cameras to the wheel well. We feel that there's way too many too much chance of of sleet, snow, rocks getting in here and then either breaking the camera or getting on the camera and it might as well render the camera useless inside there. So what we do is that we actually integrate them into this side mirror, into okay. this nice chrome look mirror, which gives you a great point of view. Uh, it, it turns on when you put on your right turn signal or left turn signal. Okay. Uh, so it, it automatically starts with those. So what we do is a little bit different from the competition just because we've kind of thought it out and we want to make sure we give you the most safest area possible. Well, that sounds great. I think that's going to be a great feature people will really like. And, and of course, as we're sitting up here and I look at these windows, the windows are new because we used to use just normal RV windows. Right. These look like uh, something I'm going to see in a coach that's thousands of dollars well, more expensive. High end buses, right? High end diesels use, have used these frameless windows for the last couple of years, and that's what set them apart. Well, as a Thor Motor Coach, we actually bring this into this outlaw. And we look at this thing, and we look like when this is rolling down the road, it looks like a super high end coach, gives you that high end feel, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. Perfect. The other thing that what we've done is, you know, we, we have some outside entertainment because we know in this outlaw you're going to be spending a lot of, lot of time outside. So it does come equipped with a uh, exterior television. Okay. It does have two awnings outside. So when you're celebrating, when you're out here and you're just having a couple drinks, you can be watching the race, you mm -hmm. can be watching the game, whatever it is. But you can also have another patio awning in your second door down with the garage as well. Sure, and what about, what, I see some speakers out here. How do, how do those work? That's right. So what we did is we've always had an outside television, right? Mm -hmm. But we've never had an outside radio. Sure. And the nice thing about what these speakers are is it's connected into a Bluetooth radio in that bedroom area back there. So what you can do is you can pull out your iPhone. I have about 150 songs on mine, and I can do my own camping outlaw playlist, and it can actually play either the radio or my list or my Pandora, you know, whatever it is, and we can listen to tunes outside. Great. So now if the kids want to come out here and they're not interested in TV, at least they can have their own tunes going. They don't have to listen because I'm sure you're like a Lawrence Welk type fan, right? So, <laughs> well, so yeah. you're not going to be listening to that out here. And, but now if we're going to be out here, we've got two awnings. That means we're going to have the ability to bring a lot of stuff with us, whether it's ladders or, or tables or chairs. I'm going to bring the gas grill. I'm going to bring all the, you know, the folding chairs for everybody to come sit around. So uh, I'm looking here and I'm looking at where all you these storage it, right? Where yeah, am I going to yeah, put that's everything? Right. So again, when, when, when what we learned from that more ride story is that we have those 13 inch trusses, right? And, mm -hmm. and what we did is that allows us to have full pass through storage on a 37 foot motorhome. Uh, the storage is, is made out of what we call rotocast. Okay. And the nice thing about this rotocast is that it isn't steel, it doesn't rust. You know, we don't put the carpet on top of, of, of the storage area, which can mildew a lot of times. Mm -hmm. What we actually do is give, uh, put rotocast inside here. I pound on that so you can see how, you know, it's, it's durable. You're and right. if you were to get this totally muddy, dirty, whatever it is, it's got a drain point inside. Mm -hmm. And we could wash this whole thing off, a little bit of armor all, and it'll look like the day you bought it. You know, with that plug in there, I can see this. Somebody might actually even convert this to a cooler. You could throw your ice down there, you know, take a fishing trip or whatever. You put your uh, fish on ice or, you know, keep, uh, you know, some soda out here for the kids to enjoy. Absolutely. Absolutely. The great thing about this is that, again, like I mentioned, full pass through. So the ability to put a ladder inside this motor, the ability to put those fold up chairs inside there. Um, so you can use the garage to carry your toys, but also be able to carry everything else you want to because of what storage this has underneath it. Now, if I'm going to be out doing a lot of camping, now some people, especially with this, like like maybe a motorcycle crowd, and I don't mean the Harley guys, I mean the guys that you know or go to the, the track every weekend, maybe their kids are into dirt bike racing, yep. they may not have the ability to hook up to electric and sewer. So um, do I have enough power on this coach and do I have enough storage capacity for my holding tanks and everything uh, to enjoy a whole weekend without having to refill? You do. This is a fully self-contained motorhome meaning that you could take this out and if you don't have water, if you don't have uh, city water, if you don't have power, you have a 5.5 Onan generator. You have a 100 gallon water tank inside wait, this Wait, 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 100 gallons of fresh water? 100 gallons of fresh water. So no matter if it's you and your family and your family's family, 
you can uh, be in here for a long, long time. Well, that's good because, you know, I seem to travel with my daughters and of course we're talking long showers there. Yes. So a hundred gallons, at least we're gonna be able to go at least three days, it looks like with uh, being able to take showers in this coach. Absolutely, absolutely. So that generator will power everything inside the motorhome. You have two 13.5 air conditioning units. So even if you don't have electricity, that generator will power everything inside the motorhome from the televisions to the ACs to, you know, if you needed heat, if you, if, if the, the furnace needed to turn on, you mm -hmm. absolutely could do that. Well, and I kind of like too that uh, on our coaches, especially this outlaw here, it's got an inverter, doesn't it? That actually allows me, I don't have to run the generator if I just want to watch TV or have some lights on going down the road. It does. So that inverter does a couple things. If you just wanted to go back and made a, make a pot of coffee, you could plug it into an outlet and that inverter will allow you to do that without using that, that generator mm -hmm. while you're going down the road. The other thing it does is that it actually powers, you have a residential refrigerator in these outlaws now, new for 2016, where okay. we, we used to have the smaller refrigerator. We have an 11 cubic foot uh, residential refrigerator with an inverter in there as well. And the great thing about what we also offer at Thor Motor Coach is if something happens and you guys are dry camping and that your power starts to drain a little bit lower, let's say than 11.9 than, uh, uh, volts, that, jet, that auto gen start that we offer will snap the generator on and then recharge all of your batteries in, inside the motorhome. I mean, I love that feature because, you know, a lot of people, and especially myself, I have two dogs I like to travel with. So if I'm going to go out somewhere, I'm going to bring the dogs with me. And there's times where we'll take day trips. Yes. And uh, I like the fact with the auto generator start, I think it works with the thermostat too, where it will actually uh, kick on the air conditioners, correct? It will. You talked about having the inverter for the pups that are inside the coach. A, a nice feature that we also have is a 5,000 BTU separate air conditioner that's in the garage as well, which is a, a great area to cool down. Uh, if you really needed it back there. Well, that sounds perfect for me because that means I could be sitting back in the garage uh, making me like a meat locker. And then uh, <laughs> all my ladies that I travel with, my two daughters and my wife, they can be up front and they can keep it at 75 where I'm sweating to death. It, without a doubt, so, without a doubt. When we're talking about pets, one thing I notice if we walk towards the back of the coach here, I'm seeing a little ring that hangs out behind the rear tire here. Sure. And I'll show you the great thing about what we do is we incorporate this little ring here that you could filter the leaf up through here, have it here so the dogs can be around you while you're camping underneath your awning if you really needed to. What it allows you to do is not have the leash tied to your steps. Mm. So if something happens and someone walks by and the dog kind of jerks at the leash, you're not paying for a brand new set of steps. We actually integrate that into the motorhome itself. Well, since I think 70% is the number I keep hearing of people that travel with their pets, uh, it's it's something here at Thor Motor Coach. We like to be pet friendly from our furniture to the tie down out here. I think we really kind of cater to that crowd that likes to travel with their animals because let's face it, they're an extension of our family. Without a doubt. You know, John, you probably said 70%. With this outlaw, it's gearing probably into that 80, 90%. There are a lot of people who bring their pets with them and we want to make sure we incorporate that as well. All right, so we've seen the outside, we've seen the beauty, we've seen all that. Now, we keep talking about a garage. That's all right. right. So we've talked a lot about it, but <laughs> we haven't shown anybody what we're talking about. So let's take a peek at the back of this and kind of show people what a garage could look like in their dream motorhome. Sure, absolutely. Come on. So, John, what I wanted to show you is a Class A gas motorhome with a garage in the back which again, we talk about the versatility of this motorhome, allows us to put whatever we want back in the back, whether it's motorcycles or ATVs, and still be able to actually tow a car if you wanted to back there, because we have an 8,000 pound towing hitch in the back. Oh, I, I, everything I've ever read, everybody's got a 5,000 pound hitch. We're actually at 8,000? We did, we just switched that for 2016. Uh, we, we thought, uh, you know, if you're going to take this along, you're going to need something a little bit beefier, a little bit heavier, dude. Sure, and we keep talking about a garage. Now, I'm looking behind me. I see the garage, but Matt, I got an issue here, all right? There's no way that my motorcycle is going up three feet. I don't have any ramps. I don't want to take extra ramps with me to be able to get into the garage. What's, what's going on here with this? Well, the great thing about what this is is that this converts into your ramp. So when you fold this out, you'll actually have a great area that you can put your motorcycle into the garage, or again, we talked about a little smart car if you needed to put that mm -hmm. in there as well, but your ramp is, uh, is a great place and, and it's not too steep. Uh, it, it's, it's very easy to do to get up inside into the garage. We have the non-slip tread here right okay. on our ramp area 
to make sure that your wheels are gripping this ramp while they go inside the, the garage area. And so what you're telling me is that all this stuff that's up here, this is this makes into our patio deck area. This does. So, so what this is, is again, if, if you're at the ball game, if you're tailgating, if you're at a race, uh, or if you're just at the campground and, and you wanted to uh, bring out a grill and you wanted to have some fun, you actually have your own patio. You can come out here and you can entertain, you can have a grill. This is a, a 1,500 pound capacity when it's in this. Okay. Um, these swing out, you can open up this deck. The also, we talked about uh, dog people owning this motorhome, is this gives you a nice little area where the dogs can be contained, but also get fresh air while you're outside as well. Okay, so this goes from being a ramp, a ramp when it's not up. So I take these cables off, I put this down into a ramp. Correct. And so I start there. That's how I get everything loaded in and out. That's right. And then after I get it all loaded or unloaded, when I get to my campsite, now I can I can back this up to the water. Heck, I could probably almost overhang the, the, the side of the river if I'm going out, you know, and going to do something. Maybe I'm going to go to Alaska and I'm going to be in Anchorage and I want to, you know, kind of go over the water. It's like I've got my own little fishing, you know, fishing area Absolutely. right here. I can just cast right off this Absolutely. into the water. Absolutely. Bring the chairs right on there. Bring the fishing gear whatever it is uh, again we talk a little bit about you know tailgating atmosphere out here this is something that that is 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 just you know so essential for us to have fun in this motorhome i mean mm -hmm. this is this is the quintessential i'm going to buy a motorhome that i can take this back entertain have a blast while i'm camping well, I like something else that we did too. I like the fact that we added another awning That's on the right. back here. So I'm getting plenty of shade over here on the sides, but then when I come out here and I just wanna you know, enjoy a beverage as I'm kind of watching the sunset go down, now I've got something that can kind of protect me. And if it starts to rain, I don't have to worry about yes. closing up my patio. Because John, sometimes it does rain mm -hmm. when you do go out sure. camping. The nice thing is, is that we switched from, an, in 2016, in this brand new 16 floor plan, we switched from a manual awning to an automatic awning. Okay. So it actually has a, at a press of a button, it'll come down and then you have your awning out, which is a great feature to have. Well, I think that's really convenient. It just makes it just like every other awning here, simple push of the button and with minutes you're, easy. you're ready to yes, go. Yes, absolutely. Very easy. So, and then uh, if we walk around to the other side of the coach, I think there's a couple things over there. If I'm not mistaken, we've got a couple unique features, uh, especially when we look at utility in this coach. Yes. All absolutely. right. Well, let's go come take on. a look at we'll some go. of our utility. All right, Matt, so we talked about utility and we're gonna talk a little bit about, this is the ultimate fun coach. So if it's the ultimate fun coach, give me some more reasons why I'm gonna have my, the ultimate time when I have the outlaw. So when you're taking your toys with you, if something happens to where you need a little bit of extra fuel to fill up, you actually have an auxiliary fuel uh, pump on this coach. So the nice thing about this is that you can fill up your, your, mm -hmm. ta your, your tank and your toys, but it will cut you off at a quarter of a tank in your 80 gallon fuel tank. Which is nice, so it's kind of like the generator. It won't let you run the tank dry. Won't let you run dry, and absolutely. you're not stuck at the campground. And but the nice thing is that you don't have to run to the gas station to go fuel up. You actually have a, a fueling station on the coach. Right, itself. and it's nice because this this is our 37 RB. It's a new floor plan, and we'll see the interior layout. So we've got this, I think, on the RB and on the LS, on the LS model correct, are the two yeah. that have the fuel station. Yeah. Matt, you know, when we come up inside of the coach here, of course, I'm automatically attracted to the cockpit area because, you know, most people say that's a guy's thing. I don't know if it's a guy's thing or a girl's thing. For me, it's a it's for me it's my thing, and so I like to see what's kind of going up on up here in the dash. So um, tell me a little bit more about what I can expect. So what we've done, you know, a little bit different in 2016 is that we've we've made this. We changed our radio to to have a, a many different features into it. And it's not only your AM, FM radio, your CD player, mm -hmm. but you can also know that it, you know as soon as we do a left-handed turn, it's actually your side cameras as well. Sure. And while you're going down the road, it's your backup camera. So you can look at your tow car if you are towing something on, on that 8,000 pound hitch back there. The other thing this does that's it's really unique is that uh, for the first time, it's actually Bluetooth compatible. Oh. So if I wanted to, and I'm driving down the road, I could actually take take my call if it's synced up to the Bluetooth and have both hands on the wheel while I take my phone call inside the motorhome. Yeah, really well, a great feature that, that we've instituted. Well, I think hands-free is just is just about coming in every state. So I think having that in a motorhome already makes a lot of sense. It does. It does. A lot of times we get asked if this coach uh, has a GPS or, or do I have to put in a, a, a Garmin GPS. Mm -hmm. Well, the nice thing about what we've done with this radio is that you have an HDMI cable and, and an HDMI insert here that if you actually took your iPhone or your smartphone and you actually went to your GPS here, um, it will mirror whatever is on your iPhone. Okay, so 
You could be driving. Correct. I could be the navigator. You're the let's navigator, say, okay? yep. I plug this in, I pull up my Google or my Apple Maps, and all of a sudden I'm typing in the address and now you're going to see it on the screen. Without a doubt, yeah. Okay, so that is... Now you, you have know, GPS. Now I've got GPS, but not only that, now I've got my navigator doing the work instead of me trying to program it and being unsafe driving down the road trying to do it. Yes, you're exactly right. All right. So, so not only that feature, but when we instituted this Bluetooth feature, again, we can listen to our own tunes if we wanted to. So mm -hmm. if you have your favorite station on Pandora, just go ahead and sync that to your radio, and you have miles upon miles of, of uh, commercial-free radio. I like that. And, and I know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've got, uh, my wife's got um, Sirius XM in her car. Okay. Yep. And so um, I just subscribe for like three or four bucks a month, whatever the cost is, to the, uh, the internet version of it. Correct. And so now I, whenever I travel and have Bluetooth, I can listen to Sirius XM too. And I didn't have to worry about putting a separate player or a different tuner or spending more money uh, to you know, equip my coach with that. You're exactly right. And John, it is so easy to get hooked in. I mean, really, all it is is put, turning your Bluetooth on, making sure it syncs up, and it takes a matter of 15, 20 seconds to do. Well, you know, and I've been walking around today with my iPad just to make sure that we're staying on track here. But um, this is a pretty cool feature. Isn't that nice? You know, so what we call this, uh, again, in the cockpit area is our computer desk, right? So mm -hmm. if you were taking this as a mobile office, if you wanted to, if you turn that into a, an office area and you had a little computer station up here, not only do you have this computer station, you have a place to put maps that are right, right down in front of you. Okay. But you also have a 12 volt that's right beside you as well. Oh. So you can plug in your computer. You don't have to worry about losing battery. Mm -hmm. You have plenty of space up here. You know, we've heard this from sewing machines to computers to just being a place where people put their bowl of cereal while they sure. eat in the morning. So yeah. having a nice tray that comes out, again, we talk about how versatile this coach is, is that, you know, just something as simple as a computer tray really makes a difference. And we talked about on the outside, I don't know if we actually talked about, but this coach has leveling jacks on it. They're all it hydraulic. It does, yeah. So when you're driving down the road, the nice thing is, is we got this uh, sunshade down, uh, or what we call it the daytime privacy shade uh, that you can see here. You have a uh, an automatic nighttime privacy shade that comes down so you, you what we did is we instituted uh, uh, automatic shades uh, for 2016 not only in your front area here that keeps your privacy but also on these side areas here now too right so and i think these, these, these are down. manual shades I think, those are manual on the sides. yeah yeah those are manual these are automatic that, that we have right in front of us um we talked about the leveling system um it's on uh, eight, it's a hydraulic leveling system press okay. one button and then the coach levels itself great and and there is an exclusive feature that I know Thor Motor Coach has that nobody else, I think, in the motorhome business has. And uh, it's a little thing we call Rapid Camp. Correct. All right, so what does Rapid Camp do? So Rapid Camp is, is, a, is a great feature that only Thor Motor Coach is mm -hmm. doing, as you know, in, in, in their Class A motorhomes and some of their Class Cs. Um, what it is is it's a handheld remote that if, uh, if we went to your final destination and you walked outside, you could put down your jacks, you could start your generator, you can put out your awning, you can turn on your outside light, and you can even take in and out your slides with the power of just a remote control. So I could be inside, I could be outside, I could be back in the garage. Correct. And I could be making sure that whatever I'm doing, I can see what's going on instead of maybe just being on the inside of the motorhome. Well, let's say you pull into a campground, or let's say you pull into an area, again, where it is a little tight, and mm -hmm. you know that some tree branches are going to be close to you. You can physically go out, and instead of yelling out the window, you know, so you can see, Sure. You can take that remote and then bring out your slides so you can see how close that is to the branch mm -hmm. to make sure you're clearing it because no one wants to damage their brand new paint job you know, with, on a branch out there. So it gives you the availability to do that. Let's say you pull in and you're so excited that you walk outside and you hook in your sewer hose and you hook in your water hose and you're ready to camp. Yeah. What didn't you do? You didn't level your motorhome. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of you know coming back inside the motorhome, pressing a bunch of buttons, just take out your remote control from your pocket, stand back, and in 90 seconds, your coach is automatically level. That's great. That's really great. And, you know, these captain's chairs, you know, we've been sitting here for a little while. We were walking around outside earlier, and, of course, the captain's chairs uh, are kind of a nice thing to come into. And um, this is truly an extension of the living room, I think, with the way with the looks and feel, with the way the floor is, you know, no carpet up here anymore. And that's what I was about to say. I mean, we, we recognize that people who own this motorhome is, is doing, you know, stuff, whether it's in California or whether it's in Florida, but most of the time they are out and about. Mm -hmm. There is no carpet whatsoever in this motorhome. 
their home. So therefore, you know, no, no dust, you know, no dust mites or whatever it is that, that might come inside here. The, the fact that we don't have carpet in an outlaw, I think, was absolutely warranted. And then one last thing that I'm noticing as sure. I look down here at the floor is we've got this, this silver ring on the floor. And I'm not exactly sure what that's for. So what this is, is you actually have a table that you can set inside here. So you have a nice little table area. So whether, like again, we we're talking about uh, tailgating mm -hmm. or whether you park in an area and right here across here is the Grand Teton Mountains. Sure. You can actually sit here, have your cup of coffee and enjoy it in the cockpit area and not have to take up space in the rest of the, the coach. Oh, and I like that. It would be a great place, I think, too. You could just sit here and play cards if you want to, yep. have a conversation. Heck, we could put our battleship right here. We could. And uh, we could play a little battleship at our own <laughs> table up That's here. That's right. So, uh, you know, the cockpit, I think, uh, has a lot of great features. Um, I don't think there's really much more to say there, but I, I, I am looking forward to talking about this living room area because there's okay. a lot of things back here um, that I think are going to add to people's comfort once they get on the road. Without a doubt. So in this living area, John, we have a wonderful uh, leatherette bo uh, booth that does convert into a sleeping area. In this living room area, you can you have a drop-down bed, overhead bunk that can sleep too. It's actually 500 pounds of weight capacity. You have the bed that's back in the back. You have the loft that's up in the top. And then you have uh, two couches that convert into a king-size sleeping area in the garage. Sure, and that furniture there um, with the leatherette and then of course with the vinyl flooring, it really looks like we're kind of on that same track with being pet friendly. Yes, being pet friendly means that it is scratch proof leatherette. Mm -hmm. um, again, we talked about no carpet whatsoever. Um, we also talk about, you know, in our living room that we have the soft touch vinyl ceilings mm -hmm. and integrated into the ceiling is a fan that if, if you wanted to on a hot day, if you didn't need the air conditioning, just have the fan running in this living room area. Okay. Entertainment wise, we have uh, a big screen television in this, this area here where if you wanted to swivel that cockpit seat, you have a clear view of that. But the also the nice thing is, is that this booth is, is, is padded all the way around in cup holders that are strategically placed mm -hmm. that if, uh, you were around here and just watching television, you could easily drink out of your cup. Well, and because we're talking about this being the ultimate fun coach, uh, just kind of on the more eco-friendly side, I do notice that we've uh, changed everything out to LED lights for this year. We have. You know, what we did in 2016 is we do want to be eco-friendly. We, mm -hmm. we do want to have the best lights that are uh, in, in the business. So we did switch every light out into uh, the LED lighting system, which, again, it is better, better than a halogen light that does have a lot of heat involved with that. Sure. So less heat means that you can keep this coach cooler. And I just love the look of this LED. It really looks dynamite when, when it's up against some of the colors we put in this coach. The also the thing we did with uh, 2016 is we added a wood color, John. Um, no more darker, darker. We mm -hmm. actually have this beautiful light wood interior. Or if you do love that uh, dark wood, real rich look, we have a dark wood um, option as well. John, I want to show you some great features of what we've done with this uh, kitchen in the Outlaw. We put all solid surface countertops inside, uh, which gives you a great countertop area, whether you're preparing food or even if you're cooking food um, on your um, on your stove. The other nice thing that we did is we put this beautiful gooseneck faucet. makes it easy to clean your dishes. We have a great deep sink, you know, two-sided sink that it's actually deep enough so if you did have a pot or a pan, you can actually use this sink. Mm -hmm. um, 30 inch whirlpool residential microwave that we have inside this coach. That I, like, I like that whirlpool. I get a name brand. Name brand. Built just up the road in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Correct. So uh, it's nice to have something. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they even do in-coach service on the Whirlpool appliances. They do, yeah. And, and that's one of the reasons, again, we have partnerships at Thor Motor Coach. And um, we thought that we know that Whirlpool is, is a great brand, so we put it inside our high-end gas motorhomes. I mean, that's just something we wanted to do. We wanted to make it look like a high-end gas motorhome. I mean, this is something with a beautiful backsplash that we have here an ample amount of interior storage that you can put pots and pans and glasses, whatever you needed. You have a built-in uh, pull-out pantry. That, that's a feature in this kitchen, which I love. Uh, just a ton of storage, usable space underneath the sink. Doesn't have this big T-bar, so you can't even fit a trash can underneath, mm -hmm. so you can fit any of your cleaning supplies that you might need to. Um, we come over here and we talk a little bit about changes from 2015 to 2016. One of the major ones is having a residential Whirlpool micro, uh, refrigerator built into the motorhome. So we talked about 11 cubic feet of storage inside your stainless steel Whirlpool refrigerator. 
Well, that's nice because I think most RV refrigerators, I was hearing like six and eight cubic foot. Now we're at 11. We're at so 11. So we've really upped the capacity. We have. I mean, we know that people are spending time uh, in the in these motorhomes, whether it's a week, whether it's a month, or whether it's a, a, a year inside this. So this gives you a, enough space that you could uh, feed the entire family for a long time. Well, and hopefully um, when the ladies get in here, hopefully they're going to appreciate it because the same designer that makes our $400,000 Tuscany is the same person that's doing the design work in here. So we're really trying to take a bunch of the elements from the high-end motorhome segment and put them in, let's say, a more cost-conscious, um, fun-type RV because, let's face it, um, they're different people, different times, um, different budgets. We want to make sure that this thing looks like a million bucks to anybody who's looking at it. You're right, John. I mean, we what we've done in the past with, with our Class A toy hauler is completely different. I mean, we wanted to make it an overhaul that you got not only the availability to bring your toys in a rugged motorhome, but also when you get inside the coach, it's an absolute palace. It looks great. It feels great to be inside here. The new wood, you know, some of the new additions we've done, we've really worked hard to make this more of an eye-appealing coach, and I think we've done a great job. I think uh, when, when we get a chance here, we need to make our way back to the bedroom because um, this is really the biggest feature about this coach. We finally have a queen bed, full time. You don't have to make anything up. You don't have to go sleep in the loft. So now for somebody that's looking for more of a traditional motor home that still has the availability of taking the big toys or taking the, the show trailer or whatever with, now you've got a place that you can sleep in, leave it made up, and uh, use it like any other motor home would be used. John, we the, 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 the public has asked us for this and we've delivered. So I'm excited to show you what we got going on for 2016. All right, let's go take a look. So Matt, we're back here in the bedroom and uh, you know, I'm, I'm relatively impressed here because I get this nice big bed and, and uh, I know at Thorn Motor Coach, we use uh, Denver mattresses for all of our mattresses. Why do we do that? Well, Denver Mattress is a, is a great company for us, but we just didn't want to give you the standard uh, mattress that every other motorhome uh, manufacturer tends to give you. This is their hospitality grade mattress that will give you plenty of great nights of sleep. Perfect. And so it's uh, it's it's all foam, I believe, which is nice because if you need to uh, move it around, you can flip it from side to side, which is a great feature. Very easy. Yep. And then, of course, uh, you know, the Outlaw has a unique shape to it on the outside, which then kind of uh, gets transmitted back here to the bedroom area because I get nice tall ceilings. So I'm not claustrophobic at all back here. Yeah, John, not only do you have tall ceilings, but when you get into the shower area, it's extremely tall. How many times have you heard from RV customers that once I get into the shower, my head is in the little bubble? Mm -hmm. Well, not in this Outlaw. You have extremely tall ceilings, not only inside your shower area, but also inside your bathroom area as well. And it definitely looks like we've got uh, some good storage capacity back here. We've got our 32-inch TV, and we've got drawers, we've got wardrobe. Uh, we've got a little space up on top for extra storage. And then, of course, that leads you right up into the loft area. So now the kids have a place of their own, too. Well, you tell me another motorhome that has a loft in it. And yeah. I tell you what, th this has been such a great feature throughout the entire process of what, how we've been building this outlaw, is to have a place where the kids can go back and they can be, you know, whether it's Xbox or their PS4 or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, uh, gaming uh, station that they have, they can go up there, they can play, it's their own little area, but it's also a nice place that if you never use that or if you didn't have kids, it is an awesome storage area up there. You do have cabinets, uh, you do have a place where you can open up a window. I mean, it's just a great, great uh, versatile area. And then, of course, I think most people like the sliding glass door application. They do, we yeah. Have here. I mean, really, instead of having a, a door like, let's say, the LS, we're in this RB floor plan where you have a sliding glass door. We talk about the dog show people. You can see the pups that mm -hmm. are that are outside here. And at night, if you did have somebody converting that into a sleeping area, you have an automatic shade that comes down and gives you privacy. So you just push a button and it covers the window. Push a button, it covers the window, and now you know you're you're shut off from your garage area. Matt, this is obviously the epicenter of what makes toy haulers back here in the garage here. And of course, I'm back here, and it seems like I got plenty of headroom here, so it looks like I'll have plenty of room to put my toys, but. There's a whole lot of things we can talk about back here. Why don't you give us a few? There is, and it starts with having a 10-foot box. You, you know, I mean, that's the fantastic thing. I mean, just put this through your head, a 37-foot Class A motorhome that has a 10-foot garage in it. I mean, this is, that's why we get so excited about selling this product line and how versatile it is. You know, what we did is we know that people are going to be back here. That We know that people are going to be entertained back here. So what we did is we put the flat-screen television as well. We talked about this... this um, 
this radio that's actually Bluetooth compatible. This goes to your speakers on the outside. Okay. We know that you might have some WD-40, some chain lube. And so what we did is we gave you this stainless steel area here mm -hmm. instead of the residential cabinets. You know, we wanted to make sure we did this. A nice upgrade is what we've done in, in the recent couple years. Instead of this looking like a white doctor's office in here, sure. we went the residential wall board. We went with the actual color of the cabinets on the outside. So in this in this uh, this this garage area, when you do bring your, your toys in, when you do bring your motocross, when you do bring in your, your motorcycles, you can tie them down into these great tie downs. Okay, great. You know, that's uh, bolted into the steel frame inside this motorhome. And the other thing about what we've done is we've instituted, because you might have gas that's in your toys, mm -hmm. air, two areas here where uh, it, these open up and they give you ventilation oh, when you're okay. riding down the motor, when you're riding down the road in this motorhome. So you got great tie downs here. You have the area back here, which is what we talked about. Fold this down, have two cup holders here. Um, sit down, enjoy you know, the, the day, and uh, you can really use this thing for, for so much. The other nice thing is too, John, is that you have a door. So if you never want to get, you know, if you want to shut people out, uh, if you will, of your living area, you have an area that you can entertain back here, get in and out. And the other nice thing is what I tell people is we are on our step that goes into the garage is an automatic step that comes in and out. Mm -hmm. So if you do put something into this garage that you need that full 10 feet in, you can actually put this step inside and it gives you availability to have that full 10 feet of space. And the more I'm thinking about this, man, I'm looking at everything. There's an air conditioner back here, which you talked about earlier. We've got a fantastic fan here. We've got some speakers. We've got the TV. Um, you're a married guy, right? I am. All right. So I don't know about you, but this to me looks like the perfect mother-in-law suite. <laughs> it does. So the nice thing is, is that, um, you know, when you do have the, the, the 5,000 BTU AC on, this thing does get nice and cool. Sure. So if you wanted to sleep back here, you just convert both of these couches and you have a filler cushion. Hmm. So you, you convert both of them, you have the filler cushion, and you can sleep outside here. So whether it's my mother-in-law or your mother-in-law, they'd be happily, uh, uh, it'd be a happy space for them to sleep in. Well, I think this would be great for kids, too, because um, I can get the experience of tent camping yes, outside. Yes. So I can be out open to the stars and everything like that, but I don't necessarily have to sleep on the ground. So my kids might actually get me to... Uh, tent camp as they might call it if i have a couple of sofas that turn into a bed back here you're exactly right you're exactly right and, and again you know we, we stress in this outlaw is is how versatile it is so if you just wanted to put this patio down and you just wanted to keep your coolers back here you just wanted a garage you wanted to do woodworking back here mm -hmm. um you absolutely could you have this nice non non-stick tread back here in the back it's easy to clean i love the little chrome look that we put you know when you hold this down into this little filler right here sure um just the look and the feel of this motorhome kind of gives us this badass feel right you know mm -hmm. we're outlaws so um we wanted to make this coach family fun we wanted to make this coach couples fun we wanted to make this coach versatile to a a, a lot of different people out there in the market and and what and we've done that and we've been successful doing it well, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty convinced that uh, it looks like I need to spend some money on buying some toys if I want to get myself into <laughs> an right. outlaw. So uh, I want to just say thank you. Thanks for Thanks, uh, coming out today, showing us through the outlaw. And uh, I can't pleasure. wait for people to see the 2016s um, on a dealership lot near you. They're going to love it. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. All of our motorhomes are engineered using the best combination of aluminum steel and fiberglass. The walls and roof are constructed from aluminum, which provides a strong yet lightweight skeleton to support the overall house of the motorhome. Our floors are built from steel. The heavier steel construction helps lower the overall center of gravity of the motorhome while providing an excellent platform to help insulate the interior of the RV from road noise. The insulation within the walls, roof, and floor is low-density polystyrene foam. The insulation is form-fitted to all structural areas to provide protection from the exterior elements. The sidewalls are finished in fiberglass. Large flat sheets or rolls of fiberglass are laid upon a lamination table to be prepped and bonded to the aluminum structure. A large glue applicator runs beads of adhesive every inch down the length of the structure to ensure 100% coverage. 
Now the lamination process takes place. The entire walls, roof, and floor are inserted into an individual lamination bed where air is removed and pressure is applied, causing the adhesive in the walls to flash, also known as vacuum bonding. This flashing permanently bonds all the layers together, providing an optimal structure to build a motorhome. With the lamination process complete, a final routing of all cutouts in the structure is performed. All openings in the walls and roof are framed in aluminum, while the floor is all framed in steel. This extra step ensures the openings are always sized correctly, so items like windows, vents, and entry doors will fit each and every time. 